In this session, we are going to investigate how to find a broken link on a web page using Selenium Web Driver. There are different response codes to let us know the status of a link. For example, this HTTP response status codes page has five classes that group the responses. HTTP is an acronym for Hypertext Transfer Protocol and the response codes indicate if a particular HTTP request is successful or not successful. With our links, we prefer response codes in the range of 200. If you happen to see a code missing from this group, then that code is a non-standard response. The application under test AUT will be LinkedIn. It has a lot of links and we're going to find the broken links. Let's inspect. To find the link, we search for the anchor tag by writing two forward slashes. We see 139 matches. It's kind of misleading because the match includes anchor tags and strings. Cycle through the matches and all we need is the a tag and href attribute. href stands for hypertext reference and it creates a link to a web page. It also creates a link to a location in the same page, a location to a file, or a link to an email address. We see the URL begins with HTTPS. For our code, I already have Chrome set up and LinkedIn ready to load. Plus the teardown method to quit the driver. The test script will have three main steps. First, we're going to find and get all links. Then establish a connection to the URL. Finally, we get the response codes and response messages. To get all links, we write driver dot find elements by tag name with the value of A. A is for anchor tag. Find elements will locate all of the elements with an A tag. We'll assign it to list web element with the name of all links. Let's print the number of links. Hashtag links. Then we get the size of all of the links. Int i equals one. This will be the counter for each URL. At this point, we are going to iterate through every URL using an enhanced for loop. For loop is also called a for each loop. Bingo. Web element link all links. Now we're going to get the attribute link get attribute. The value is href. Recall href was the attribute, so we're going to get the href, then assign it to string URL. URL will be the reference. If the URL does not equal null and does not contain JavaScript, then next we 
are going to get the establishment for the URL connection. And that begins with HTTP URL connection. <laughs> That's an abstract class that has different features for supporting HTTP connection equals let me put the next line HTTP URL uh oh let me go down here and HTTP URL connection each HTTP URL connection is an instance used to represent one request new URL we're going to pass in the URL after that we're going to open dot open a connection let's add a throw declaration add it to the signature for URL and open connection open connection returns a URL connection instance that represents a connection to the remote object referred to by the URL. We have opened the connection, but have connected yet. We connect by writing connection dot connect. Now our connection has been established. Next is to get the response code and get the message. So I'm going to take this comment and paste it within this if statement and write connection dot get response code connection dot get response message the response code it has an int value so I'm going to assign it to int response code get response message returns a string so I'm going to assign it to string response message <laughs> let's print both the code and the message for each URL so the next line would be a print statement and it starts with the I counter plus I'm gonna make it return the URL and I'm going to skip a line then tab and then return the response code skip a line again and tab then return the response message can I forget to increment the counter the last step is for our connection to be disconnected now let's run there are 107 links I see a lot of 200 response codes with an OK message. The 200 response codes return the status code from each HTTP response and the OK message returns the HTTP message. I just saw a 404 response code and the message says not found for 26. I see request denied for 35, code of 99. Let's go ahead and see what's next. Okay, now we're at 68 link, 68 link, 73. Request denied. There's more 999 response codes with request denied message. That's a, that's a non-standard response. That's it, and thanks for watching how to find a broken link. Thank you.